there's an entire room dedicated to Courbet. What, what interested us in Courbet is that he's, he made the first statement of independence uh, of art, the real one when he did the, his pavilion. But what interested us is that he, so by declaring his own independence as an artist, he also declared his dependence and his servitude, I don't know if it's English, yeah. his servitude to a, a private uh, entity. And he made this painting where he makes fun of himself, uh, referring to, uh, to the, enfin, la gravure, la, to the old... Uh, the print? To, the, to an old print, but makes fun of himself as a homeless... Uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. And um, then, so there is that part that is interesting because he creates, in a way, uh, the modern figure of the artist, a bit of an outlaw in the law or something like that. But at the same time, she criticizes it or she doesn't, he's not a manichaean. Then he becomes uh, politically highly engaged. But um, out of his, uh, it's his, this engagement, he's thrown out of France. He has to pay back, blah, blah, blah. Yes. And he, what is interesting is that he paints... Um, Because of the column. Yeah. He was supposed to have destroyed the column, but it was not true. Yeah, yeah. And, but the, what is interesting is that then in Switzerland, when he paints uh, to gain money and becomes, uh, he writes that he, he painted uh, a castle with a prison because when collectors or uh, tourists hear him talking about that as a reminder of the prison he went into, he sells it faster. So he plays on the capitalization on the, of the engagement he had. Yeah. And that mechanic is like, he's always, always like that and also the funny thing is that France threw him out and now France wants to bring him back in the Panteo. So it's like also liberalism that wants to eat the criticism of its own system to prove his op its openness. So he, it felt like that he had all the contradiction that interests us in this project. But uh, for many people, uh, Courbet is l'origine du monde. Yeah, also, yeah, yeah, of course. No, and l'origine du monde, what is interesting is that it was censored three years ago on Facebook. So he still is one of the persons that succeeded in making an image that bothers society. But like, um, yeah, no, it's, and also it's a funny figure because I think the intellectuals, the bourgeois, hate him uh, because he's a... Uh, what? A rustre, uh, a oh, funny right. rustre provocative and we found like uh, people insulting him for hours and making drawings about him making fun of him of his because he was like uh, super proud and, and too and pretentious but I don't know it's a funny figure because it, nothing works as a simple reading of him mm. and uh, yeah that's why